I'm more fascinated by, I guess, what most people would consider the creepy bugs. I love the beetles. I love the mantids, uh, cicadas, uh, love centipedes. I, they're just fascinating. They're like little works of art. I mean, and, and they're like machinery, really. Uh, they're, it's just incredible. And the closer I look, <laughs> the more intrigued I get. And somehow my bug collecting and my model building for architecture got mixed together and this is the result. So really it happened, I was in my 20s when this first happened. I'll try to get color field photographs of a living specimen uh, with something in the picture for scale and get as much information about it as I can and then I do a kind of an idealized version of that based on all the information I can get. They do think they're real, and I did not intend that. <laughs> In fact, the first show I did, people got angry that I'd killed all these butterflies. So I went home and made my little signs, and they're sort of half sarcastic and half, you know, informative. They just stood in front and got all upset, like very loudly were saying, I can't believe they would let somebody into the show that would kill butterflies and, and sell them for profit. I mean, all this stuff. And I was just shocked. I mean, I actually thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> so I hollered from the back, they're not real, you idiots. <laughs> Some people think they're almost creepy, but you know, I, I like them big and, and we can really see the detail. And, and I, my whole point, I think, besides my own personal, uh, I just like making the bugs, um, I like when people say, oh, I had no idea insects could be that beautiful. That, that's like the perfect compliment for me.